Okay, so we have here two bolt carrier assemblies. This is out of my AR. This is out of my son's DB15 that we just shot today. So let's, there's a couple things we're going to cover. Um, these bolts, and we'll show you here in a minute, have gas rings on the back of the bolt. When those gas rings wear down, there's a test, um, a simple test you can do. So you see this bolt rotates here. So you want to pull your bolt all the way out and then just set the whole carrier on the bolt there and see it, it holds itself up. So here is my carrier. So we'll pull the bolt all the way out. We'll set the carrier down and you'll see mine drops. The weight of the carrier closes the bolt slides in. Okay, so my gas rings are worn. I'll tell you what, my rifle runs great. It runs 100% no matter what kind of ammo. Um, I will replace the rings here soon. I just wanted to show you that test. So to tear down, just wipe this down here. So to tear down the bolt, we got a, the firing pin key. We'll just, you see that, we'll just pull that out. Don't lose this cotter. It just looks like a standard cotter key, but it is not. You can't go down to the hardware store and put a standard cotter key in there because this is uh, a hardened uh, metal. Uh, you just put a standard cotter key in there, it, it's going to wear out really fast. So pull that key out. And then you'll have your firing pin there. Push your bolt back in. This key here will rotate it. And it will come out. And then your bolt assembly will come out. So for today, this is the this is as far as we're going to tear it down. Down the road, uh, probably after we get another thousand rounds maybe through it, we'll tear it down more and I'll do a video on that. So, I'm talking about the gas rings. We'll use the firing pin as a pointer here. You'll see this, these, this metal strip here, this silver strip. It's actually three different gas rings. Three rings that snap into this groove here. And then when that goes into the bolt assembly, that's what seals the gas there as this moves inside the bolt carrier. So there you can pick up a set under five bucks. You're probably in more in the two dollar range. Um, I've replaced them in the past. Get whatever you get, DPMS, whatever brand. I mean, they're pretty much made to the same standards. I've never, I don't care when I order them, I just order whatever is available. You'll snap them in. When I replace the rings on my, I don't have any extra rings right now where I replace them on my bolt. I just want to show you these are the gas rings I was talking about. So, to clean this up, uh, I've got some. Pops number nine. We'll just use some of that. Just brush that down. Brush that bolt face down. Then you'll want to check under your extractor. And here the extractor. Make sure it's clean under there. You don't have, you know, brass shavings under there. And it is, it's got a spring back in here. This does move. You can pop it up just a little bit. You can clean underneath there. Make sure that's all free of debris. I'll just let this pops kind of soak in here. Then your firing pin, 
these grooves you just want to make sure there's no carbon build up and you, these bolts you'll find are just are terrible dirty because the gas system it diverts all the gas inside this uh, carrier system so you just brush this down I don't have my pick I don't really get it here under the surface here you just want to make sure that there's no carbon buildup so let's go ahead and stop the video I gotta grab my dental picks okay so like I was saying just want to scrape in here make sure that's all clear debris carbon buildup make sure the back side of that just clean that off with your bolt you want to scrape this surface here see this has already got carbon buildup I don't know if we'll be able to show you guys if you'll be able to see that carbon is built up on there. You can see it on the pick. Then they have a carbon uh, scraper tool that you can buy. And I have one somewhere, but after our move, stuff always disappears, so I've we're still unpacking and finding stuff so you can see there you can see all that that carbon that's built up on the back of the bolt so you just want to make sure you get all that carbon off of there you'll start having you want to get all this carbon off because it builds up and then you, you will start having malfunctions with the rifle It'll, it'll take a while, but I want to get this off because you leave it on there and then it just builds up. It just gives it more to stick to and build on and then it just, you just end up with a big old mess. And if you want, you can just let this, and this bottle of hops is almost empty. I might just let it sit in there and soak. So anyway, you're just going to scrape all that carbon off the tail of this bolt. The reason you have all this carbon build up in the AR, the gas tube that runs down along the length of the barrel, your gas gases come into this here, into the carrier, and it's contact in, as you can see, we get this back in there. As those gases come in, it's actually running this bolt and it's contacting. So you're getting all the gases and gunk each time you fire and it's just building up right in here and then back inside that carrier. So that's why all these deposits are here. So you just want to clean this off good, scrape it, get all that carbon off of there before you put her back together. So I know it's a boring video watching me scrape carbon. So then, inside the carrier, where that bolt would ride, you just want to scrape down inside there just a little bit. Get that carbon up there, I just come up with some more. Just kind of scrape just a little bit in there. And then, you know, run your hops, I mean, just clean it like you would anything else. Clean down inside there. Get that hops in there. You want it clean out because also your firing pin rides inside the bolt. So you're going to want to clean inside that. Q-tip works good here. You get a little hops on your Q-tip. You can run it down inside this. You can use a little brush. That'll just clean that out, clean the tail, and your 22 brush will fit that. So you can just run this on your on your handle here. You can just run it through there, clean that out. What you do is you'll push that through, and then carbon and whatnot will drop out of that hole right there. Just 
just want to keep that clean because that's where your firing pin is going to ride in that. So that's what you need to do there. For back. So we've cleaned everything up. I've scraped all the carbon off. The bolt's clean. Um, bolt carrier's clean. I've wiped down the firing pin. The key, firing pin key. Keeper. So now we're going to put it back together. So if you find somewhere on the internet that says this is wrong, it's up to you. I've been doing it this way. I've never had any problems. So I'll take my CLP, use whatever, you know, whatever gun, gun, gun lube you like. I'll lubricate, I'll put some right here on the rings to lubricate the back of that. And I'll just get this bolt wet right here. So then we'll reassemble it. The extractor on the right hand side. together. Just put a little keeper back in. We talked earlier how that all went together. I put a light coating foil on the firing pin. Drop it back in. Then I will put the key back in there. So now we have the bolt back together. I run a little oil, put some lube right there on that bolt back into the carrier. Doesn't feel gritty, it's nice, nice and clean. So then what I do run on my ARs. Some guys will run them like extremely wet. I use the Luger Plate Red Grease. Let me find it. Here we go. And these grease pots. I use these also on the M1 Grand. So what I do, the services that contact inside the receiver, I'll put grease both sides of the bolt here. And then I'll also oil it when I put it back together. So we'll set that aside. But for right now, you got everything back together. It's oiled up. And you can take a light. And you just put light coating oil right here at the front. And I will lightly coat this because when you get to shooting it, if you run it wet, it's a lot easier to clean. It just kind of. I have found that the carbon just doesn't adhere to the, to the metal as easily if you just have a light layer oil on everything. So that's the bolt carrier assembly cleaned and reassembled. So now we'll just do a quick cleaning of the upper. Um, I don't think I need to show you that. You're just running a brush um, through the rifle. I do want to make note that your bolt, your lugs here, and into the receiver, if you can see there, up in the chamber. You just want to make sure you clean this area here, clean these lugs out, get a good brush that fits in there. Make sure this is all cleaned out real well in here, and this will help with um, that way your bolt will goes back into battery. Everything closes up, locks up the way it should. It'll just it'll uh, save you some headaches in the long run. Just clean that area out good. So basically, I'm not going to teach you how to clean a rifle. You should already know how to. You know, you got to run your brush, whatever, clean your bore. But that area there, I just want to note that you want to make sure that's good and clean in here. So. I will get that done and then we'll put this back together.